Yo, get ready for your answers. Motherfucking crypto roots is the realest, baddest, motherfucker, most intelligent, most creative nigga out there on YouTube thinking of crypto shit 24-7. I'm the realest deal you done ever seen up in your motherfucking life. Watch out, bitch. You don't know what kind of shit I be on. Aloha family, this your boy Crypto Roots. So I'm just letting my audience know I'm going to be monetizing my channel a bit more uh, in 2020. So if you value the information, you want to support a good brother, like, share, subscribe, let people know about Crypto Roots. And uh, affiliate links and uh, donations address uh, are in the description. Aloha. So I'm going to be selling ad space on my videos uh, in 2020. So if you got any organic health products or services you would like to uh, solicit, uh, such as CBD oils, coconut oils, any of that stuff, uh, hit me up. If you have any legitimate crypto businesses that you would like to promote, hit me up as well. And any spiritual metaphysical uh, businesses you would like to promote, hit me up for my rates at CryptoRoots at ProtonMail.com. So if you want to support your boy on Patreon, you can sign up for the Passive Cryptopreneur tier. It's only $5 a month, and I give you crypto homework uh, once a week to study and to keep you on top of the crypto game. If you check out my Gumroad, link in the description. These are where I sell all my uh, crypto and technology courses, and uh, I'll be uh, producing more courses throughout 2020. Aloha YouTube, this your boy Crypto Roots. And one of the things that uh, blew me away when I first started programming was uh, virtual machines. And I was like, what the, f what the is a virtual machine? like because i was trying to run linux i was using windows and once i found out what it was i was like yo this shit is dope like so you you can have another operating system on top of your operating system but separate that's like what a virtual machine is and so when you whatever you do on your virtual machine it doesn't affect your operating system. So most people that do like security research or uh, cybersecurity, any t or any type of hacker, any type of even illegal stuff, they make sure they use a virtual machine so that uh, their computer doesn't get infected or possibly tracked. Now, the way these virtual machines work is that they take some, they allocate some of the, the resources from your original hard drive, such as like your memory, your RAM, your space, and they allocate that, they save that, like quarantine it for the use of that virtual machine. So the virtual machine uses some of the resources uh, of your host machine, but it's uh, quarantined off. So, and then another thing that really like uh, surprised me was uh, virtual environments. And like when you're especially when you deal with Python, you gotta create a virtual environment. like in order to like really to do it professionally you're going to have to section off a part of your files for that particular project because some files are going to need certain uh, other dependencies and you don't want to combine different versions of python or different versions of any other uh dependency so virtual environments are like its own environment within your operating system so it's like doper and doper. Then there's virtual private uh, servers, there's virtual private networks. So like everything is becoming virtual and that's how it works. With, that's how it works. Like whenever you wanna break the rules of one reality, you go deeper into the reality. Like you create another, like another. So when you, when you wanna break the physical rules, all the rules are you can't do anything physical. So you, you get into a digital world and then now you're able to do so much more stuff. Now that the digital world is being centralized and all being controlled, people are getting into uh, a virtual machine on a digital world. Like you're going deeper and deeper into the simulation. Like when you want to break rule, one rules of the simulation, you go deeper, and it's, it's crazy. So now you're with, through a virtual private server, you're able to access your computer from any other part of the world, from your laptop, like remotely, like remote access. So now from your computer, you can control other computers, all from your computer. And it's dope, man, it's dope. The possibilities are limitless. There's, there's pretty much nothing you really can do on a, a modern day laptop. You know what I'm saying? So I just thought that was dope. I thought that was amazing. You just, how we just keep going deeper and deeper into the matrix. 
you know? And when does it stop? Like, this is a holographic universe. This could be a CD-ROM. This could be a CD-ROM, the world we're living in. You know what I'm saying? And that we're, this is just a video game. Like, it, it, I don't know, that's a whole, that's a whole, that simulation theory, that's a whole nother thing, but it re it's really looking like that. It really looks like this is a simulation because we keep getting deeper and deeper into the simulation to break free from the, the previous reigns of the old sim simulation. So, I don't know, man, I'm just tossing ideas out, just getting you thinking, just getting you prepared. Holla at me for the crypto mentorships, you know what I'm saying, personal uh, programming tutor, you know what I'm saying? Uh, look out, check out for my courses. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm working on when real estate meets the blockchain. So check that out. That'll be coming out pretty soon. And uh, much love. Aloha. Peace, family.